Today we're adding in my most coveted native fish that I've wanted for the longest time ever into this tank here behind me. It's a fish that I've been wanting to be able to have, to be able to try to spawn, to be able to help get it out to more people like you guys. And it's a fish that is absolutely beautiful and something that I think will be more prevalent in our hobby coming forward. Because it's something that is loved and adored all across Europe for its beauty, but is very underappreciated here. So today we're talking about the Rainbow Shiner, and I want to show you guys the fish that I got, the tank that it's going into, and my hopes for future breeding plans with them in this tank or some of the other tanks in the fish room. So this fish is going to be the last fish that I add to all the tanks that I have here, because that makes five breeding projects that I have right now, which for my tiny fish room, that is far and away more than I will ever have time to be able to take care of or do, which is why some of them are growing out, as are these Rainbow Shiners. These are more of a long-term project that I'm looking to spawn in the coming years, but not something that I'm gonna be able to spawn, say, this year. So these are the Rainbow Shiners that I got. The Rainbow Shiners are actually endemic to, I can't remember what drainage it is, but it is part of Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee. And they are an absolutely stunning fish that gets about a maximum of three inches. And there's two different types of rainbow shiners. Like there is a one that is a very majority red body. And there's another one that's a very majority blue body. And these are the majority red body that I got from the white cloud dynasty here on YouTube. And he's been line breeding these for a couple of years now, but I'm very impressed by his actual selection methods and the rigor of which he calls his fish. So I wanted to try his and see if I can't be able to start breeding them, be able to distribute them to more people, and as well as just to have more of them for myself. Because like my Celestia Prodanios, I didn't want to have to pay for, say, 40 of these fish. I'd rather try breeding them and having them actually produce in my own aquariums and then being able to put them into my tanks and be able to say, these are the guys that I bred it. Isn't that really cool? So we're going to let these guys get acclimated. I think I have about three or four females and five or six males in here, which is great for coloration and display, but isn't great for breeding. So we're going to go through here and get the fish out of the bags and add it into their tank. And we'll see what they start looking like in the coming day and uh, the coming couple of days to show you guys how much they just changed from in the bag right now to what they actually will look like inside of this tank here. And these rainbow shiners that I got were actually already quarantined by a friend uh, for the last couple of weeks. So that's why I didn't have to quarantine them at all because he had already done all the quarantine for me. So I'm very appreciative to Brandon for doing that for me. And uh, these guys already are looking so good in here and I can't wait to see what they look like in the next coming days as they start getting more acclimated and used to their actual tank. So here they are three days after being put in. They're acclimating very well without any real problems. All of them are still alive. It looks like I was right in that there are about three females and six males, which isn't terrible. So I'll just have to spawn them uh, in groups of one or two, like one male, one female, two females, two males type of deal. Uh, but they're looking great and I can't wait to see what they look like as they get to closer three-ish inches full grow. So yeah, I'm really excited about them and can't wait for their progress and hopefully future breeding of them. So if you guys want to see more about these rainbow shiners, and the progress that I have with them or any of the other videos on my channel, make sure you guys subscribe and check out the video talking about my Ellis Homer Gerberti and why I think one of the best nano fish out there in the entire world. I'll see you guys in that video. Have a blessed day. See ya.